Money, money, money. Let's talk about money. The magic word. Okay, say it with me. Do you know what the magic word is? Top 500 companies in the stock market. Nothing is guaranteed in life. Is you need to make more money. How do you do that? Well, you learn specific skills to go ahead and get a higher paying job. The only way to financial freedom, okay? You have to earn more. Nothing is ridiculous. It's only the limitations in your head. Money, money, money. Let's talk about money. Do you teach your students about finances and money? Perhaps you're a teacher or a parent or both, but teaching about money and finances is very, very important. Now here at Argo Prep, what we do of course is boost your child's score in math and English, science and social studies. And of course we offer an incredible platform for schools. However, uh, these videos, we know we always shoot videos and talk about finances and money and cool ways to introduce the concept of money. And today we're going to actually be looking at two incredible resources. Uh, click on the link below the description to go ahead and follow through with me on this video. The first thing we're going to look at is Money Smart for Young People, which is a awesome resource prepared by the FDIC. This is incredible because they have some really cool activities, some key terms, and even some books that are recommended by age. So take a look at this. So go ahead and let's scroll down and see what we have over here. We're going to go ahead and select the respective grade level. Over here, I'll click on grades three to five and take a look at the various things that this site offers. Uh, grade three to five, and we have a bunch of different resources. I highly recommend to go through each and one of these PDFs. Uh, I'll just go ahead and skip right over to introduction to investing that's number six over here and take a look at this is a very very nice simple PDF but it's very helpful for parents as well as uh, teachers so here in this words to know section students at this grade level should be familiar or introduced to the terms investing profit what is a profit what what is a return what is a risk and then here this is an incredible thing over here. I love how uh, they suggest grade level appropriate books. So these are three books that this uh, website actually, yeah, this is three workbooks, or three books that this website is recommending. And I would highly recommend for you to go ahead and explore this site. We won't get too much into it because there's a lot of things to go ahead and cover over here. Again, here, this is a, this is something incredible. You can use this PDF as a guided conversation. So here's a conversation starter. Uh, what do you know about investing? If you were given $1,000 to invest, where would you invest the money and why? This is awesome because you can see what, what your child knows about money so far, what they would like to invest in. And of course, if you're asking a third grader this question, they're going to give you a ridiculous answer. Uh, they would probably invest in toys and things of that nature, which is totally fine, but it's very good because it gets to start the conversation and you can introduce this topic in a fun and friendly way. Uh, here's another great question. What would you do if you invested money and it doubled? So these are great critical thinking questions and also uh, some great questions to spark your child's interest. So I highly recommend going ahead and digging through this website very carefully. I would highly encourage you also to read some of the recommended books. Start out with one. And I promise you, this is not going to only help your child, but you as well. Let's go ahead and go on to the second resource over here. This is, and this is going to be also be on the description below. This is fantastic because this introduces the magic word. Okay, say it with me. Do you know what the magic word is? The magic word is called compound interest. It's one of my favorite words. I think it's actually my yeah, it's the most favorite word of mine, compound interest. If you don't know what that means, let me show you what the power of compound interest does to money. So over here, this is a very simple calculator. And so I'll walk you through this over here. Let's say that your child is going, in this scenario, regardless of whether your child's in fifth grade or seventh grade or 10th grade, you take the situation, hey, let's assume 
that at age 18, we start you off with an investment account. What is an investment account? Well, there are all sorts of investment accounts that we're not going to go into, but let's just say that you're going to open up an investment account and invest in the S&P 500. These are the top 500 companies in the stock market. We won't even get into that, but let's just say you're going to invest your money there. And over a long time horizon, it's been proven that the stock market on average yields you roughly 9% a year. Okay, that's a given, that's a fact from if we look at uh, previous history. But let's just take a look at some realistic number, okay? And you, this is your child and you sit down and you, know, you say, okay, well, you know what? At age 18, I'm going to hand you $1,000 to go ahead and put into this investment account. Not a lot of money. Well, it is a lot of money, but it's not a ridiculous amount of money especially when it comes to investing. So let's start off with a minimum of $1,000. That is your initial investment. That is your initial principal. Now, what's very important here is you want to encourage your child for monthly contributions. Of course, we're working with a hypothetical situation over here, but once we're done with this exercise, uh, your not only ch your child, but you should also have uh, be, be very interested in uh, in contributing something and over a long time horizon. So over here, let's go ahead and start with something very simple. We'll just say that we're going to invest a hundred dollars a month. Okay. Hopefully that's not too much. You know, it may be a little hard at age 18. Of course, you may not have a great paying job, but again, a hundred dollars a month is not impossible by any means. You can cut back on Starbucks or Dunkin Donuts or some other items, and you can surely save a hundred dollars a month. Now here's the awesome part, okay? The length of time in years. You're 18 years old right now, so if you do 30 years from now, okay, 30 years, that's what? You're gonna be 48 years old, 28, 38, 48. You're 48 years old. Okay, you know what? I'm actually just going to change that to 32 years. So in 50 years, when you're 50 years old, let's see what that money looks like. Now, in step three, we come out here to the estimated interest rate. I mentioned to you that it was 9% a year on average. Now, again, is that guaranteed? Nothing is guaranteed in life. It may be more, it may be a bit, little bit less. So over here, this is an awesome feature they have here, an interest rate variance range. Uh, so it, I'll put 2% here, meaning that it's either going to be plus or minus two. So in this situation, we'll have something that looks like with a 7% APR, 9% APR, or a 11% uh, APR. And you're going to compound it annually. Let's take a look at this situation over here. These are very simple numbers, and these are also small numbers, okay? You want to encourage higher numbers, especially when you start to make more. And let's just calculate. And now we have this incredible and awesome graph over here. And if I take a look at this over here, at when I am 50 years old over here, if I earn 9% a year, I'll have $212,000. If it's actually 11%, I'll earn $324,000. And if it's only 7%, I still earn $140,000 on the account, which is pretty awesome. Uh, now, just imagine that you go ahead and manipulate these numbers and talk about some more serious investments. For example, your monthly contributions, you know, your number one goal in life you want to encourage your child is you need to make more money. How do you do that? Well, you learn specific skills to go ahead and get a higher paying job so you can contribute more to various investment accounts, whether that's real estate, whether that's a non-retirement account, whether that's your traditional 401k or your Roth 401k. There's a lot of things going on here, but in order to even talk about investments, you have to make a high active income, okay? But let's go ahead and just manipulate these numbers. I'm just going to manipulate this to now $10,000 as an inv initial investment. And I'm going to go ahead and contribute $1,000 a month. Now, you know, a lot of, you know, you may be saying, this is really unfair. Who's, who can save $1,000 a month? You know, forget about the savings. You're talking about investing this money and locking it up. 
there are plenty of people that are actually doing this, believe it or not, okay? Again, it's about increasing your active income so you can invest more money. This is the only way to financial freedom, okay? You have to earn more, not save more, okay? It's, it, it, works, it, it works in order. You have to earn more money so you can save, okay? If you start saving, well, if you're only earning $60,000 a year, but your living expenses are $60,000 a year, you're not saving anything, okay? Yeah, we, it's life. We all have to live. We all have to pay our rent, our utilities, our food, okay? And these are must expenses. We cannot X out these expenses. What do we do? We have to earn more so we can save more, so we can invest that and invest that wisely. Okay, so now monthly contribution, 1000 32 years in length, and this is great because we're, at, we're only 18 years old. And this time I'll remove the interest rate variance range, and so let's go ahead and calculate that. Now, what we're left with is $2.1 million. When you are 50 years old, let's take a look at this calculator over here, you will see the blue line here, your total contribution is just under $400,000. So over all these years, 32 years, you've contributed yourself 400,000 and you're left on the account now with $2.1 million. Sounds incredible. Yes, you still have to pay taxes on that, on the federal level, the state level, the city level, all of that still applies. However, take a look at that, okay? That should be very interesting to you. And the key takeaway here is it's not about investing a thousand dollars a month it's not about having a high initial investment the key thing here is to invest as early as you can the most important component here is the length of time remember it's being compounded every single year okay so the longer you leave it therefore the more money you're going to end up with so if you are 18 i highly encourage you or if you have a child that's about to become 18 I don't care how much it is, if it's $50 a month, start putting it away. It's not going to make a drastic difference, but it's going to build that discipline. So perhaps when your child has a good job at age 30, which is totally fine, you can up that monthly contribution, okay? But the key takeaway here is, please, as soon as you turn 18, uh, you won't qualify for a 401k because that it has to you have to be age 21 but you can set up a non-retirement account and there are plenty of amazing companies big big companies like Vanguard of course is a very uh, a standard company they're huge just open one up and then just invest in the Vanguard funds that deals with uh, the uh, S&P 500 and you'll see some incredible numbers over here. So let us know what you thought about this in the comments down below. Please check out the FDIC website. It has some incredible resources for uh, you and for students of the age level appropriate resources. And then I would like you to go ahead and go on this website and play around with the compound interest calculator. Make two situations. One, use your realistic situation and try to plug in numbers. And now use that situation if you tripled your salary, okay? And you had the same living expenses. I want you to see how that looks like as well. And please do not write in the comment down below, triple my salary, are you kidding me? That sounds ridiculous. Nothing is ridiculous. It's only the limitations in your head, okay? Thanks a lot and see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Anya Chowdhury, co-founder of Argo Prep. If you like what you're watching, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and check out our website, argoprep.com. If you are a school or educator, don't forget to check out our incredible learning platform for schools, argoprep.com schools.